welcome back once again to my channel. As you are all aware, our brains are really good for generating and coming up with various different ideas, but they are not good for holding those ideas. With a never-ending stream of so much of activities happening in your day-to-day -day life, both at home as well as on the work front, things are bound to slip through the cracks. So when your thoughts are organized without any distraction, that is the only time when you can achieve effective and meaningful results. But before that, I would like to make a request to you. Please subscribe to my channel if you like this content and also hit the bell icon for any further notifications. Let's get to work. This is where GTD or getting things done comes into play. GTD is a framework which assists and helps you in managing your tasks, your to-do lists, your projects and various different activities throughout the day, whether it is on the home front or at work. The whole idea behind GTD or getting things done methodology is to take out all your ideas and thoughts and to-dos out of your mind, record them externally and then break it into small different pieces and make them actionable work items. GTD is a time management methodology described also in the book by the same title by David Allen, a great productivity consultant and expert. So without any further delay, let's have a look at this GTD methodology and also how I use this methodology while I'm using my different applications like Evernote and Things3. Getting Things Done system is based on five simple steps. Capture, process, organize, review, and engage. Talking about capture and the GTD methodology, we should be collecting all our tasks, appointments, and ideas in inboxes. Now, these don't have to be physical entries. An inbox can be any organizational system that lets you capture things in writing. That means you can use both digital and analog inboxes, such as your email inbox, Evernote or OneNote, or maybe a task management app like Things3 or Todoist Task. Second one is the process step. Here, you need to review and process everything you've collected in your inboxes. This means you have to decide where things belong to. What kind of task is it? Is it actionable? What's the next action? So when reviewing your inboxes, do not put anything back in the inbox. Decide where each item belongs. If no action is possible or necessary, choose one of the three options trash it or put it on the maybe or someday list. The third thing is to archive it for reference. Step four is to organize your tasks. First, assign all actionable items to temporary trace or put them on lists and process them from there. If you can complete a task in two minutes or less, do it right away and don't add it to the getting things done system. If you're using the calendar, to organize your tasks, only enter appointments in your calendar. Moreover, if you are assigning a task as a project, any task that requires more than one action is a project in David Allen's GTD methodology. A project can be anything from renovating your home to a professionally managed marketing campaign or for a product management initiative. Put all of your projects on a project list that you review regularly. The last and fifth step is engage. Review your tasks and ideas on a weekly basis. I typically do this every Sunday and takes me about 15 minutes. Then I reassign my tasks based on my energy level, priority, context, and also the time available. Here is a quick glimpse of my workflow which I've customized to my liking and preference based on the GTD methodology. Same steps as defined by David Allen, but I capture everything into my inbox folder 
in Evernote. Process it using the mantra, do, delegate, or defer, and then organize and review from time to time. Thanks a lot for your time and hope this was helpful. Please feel free to subscribe to my channel if you like my content and stay tuned until the next one.